Hello, hello everyone, Razorblade Mango here, and here we are. The time is finally upon us. We are less than 24 hours away from one of my most anticipated games of the year, and one of the most anticipated games that of the last few years for me, Astrobot. And before Astrobot descends from the heavens to grace my gaming life with its presence, I wanted to just take one final look at the game that preceded it from Team Asobi, Astro's Playroom, because I have said repeatedly on this channel how much I love Astro's Playroom. Even after nearly four years, Astro's Playroom to me remains far and away the best PS5 exclusive you can find out there. More than the Spider-Man games, more than Returnal, more than the Horizon games, more than any other game out there. As time goes on, as I reach my, you know, ripe old age as a gamer, to me, Asher's Playroom represents what I would personally like to see from video games. It's short, it's fun, it focuses on art direction over raw detail, it's wonderfully paced, it's packed with so many fun details that exist just to make you smile. It leaves you wanting more. Because there are so many games that I play nowadays that by the time I reach the end of them, I go, okay, I've had enough. Asher's Playroom is the rare game that ends and leaves me wanting a lot more. I also just, the more time has gone on, I, this is a game that I revisit frequently. This to me is, is starting to become one of those games like Kingdom Hearts 2 or the campaign of Titanfall 2 or some other games that where I really don't mind putting it back on to play through it maybe once or twice a year. I use Astro's Playroom as a little palate cleanser now when after I'm done playing something that's more mechanically heavy or, or technically demanding, I like to just put on Astro's Playroom, delete my save file, go back in and just 100% the thing all over again. And of course, a lot of the things that I love are the victims of, you know, the law of diminishing returns. But while I have, you know, some minor quibbles with Astro's Playroom that have popped up over the years, to me, this is a game that almost spits in the face of that law. Because every time I go into Astro's Playroom, I always find new things to appreciate about it. I always find new little details that the Team Asobi has tucked away to where only a little bit of experimentation can bring them to light. And just little, little visual flourishes that I love. Even in the new content that they've added in the form of the waiting room and the new bots that they've added in, they add little, just little tiny details in those new environments that are just... They really don't need to go to all that trouble, but they do, because Team Asobi is awesome! I just love their whole design philosophy, because like I said in this video, and like I said in the Astrobot video, this is a team that is just dedicated to fun. This is a team that is dedicated to, you know, giving the player a joyful experience, and I don't really feel like we get a lot of those kind of, I hate to use this word, but I feel like it really applies to Team Asobi pure gaming experiences that don't have a lot of fluff to them. They are very lean, they're very efficient, they have a lot of charm, and any kind of excessive detail is there just for the sake of making you smile or making you go, wow, I didn't know that was there, or wow, that's such a cool thing that I can do. I just love Team Asobi's whole design philosophy, and I'm I am, I'm very confident that that spirit is going to carry over into Astrobot, and Part of why I wanted to do this video as well is just to say, hey, um, PlayStation, you, over there, that's, that's fucking around in live services where you don't belong and, and spending a stupid amount of money on these bloated, massively budgeted single player games. Make more games like Astro's Playroom and Astrobot, please. To me, Astro's Playroom and I, I assume Astrobot as well 
are the gold standard for what I would like to see PlayStation try to do more of from now on. The big massive single player games don't impress me like they used to. The live services absolutely do not impress me. So now, as an old man gamer, I'm left to rely on these smaller, more tightly focused games to get my sense of enjoyment, to get, you know, what I love about video games. So anyway, I just wanted to give one final tip of the hat to Astrobot in the form of Astro's Playroom. And I am happy to see that he is actually going to be getting a full scale game to where the potential is all lined up, all the bases are loaded for this thing to be a fucking home run. And all Team Asobi has to do, even if they don't, you know, knock it so far out of the park that it flies into space, all they have to do is get a home run, which I think they're more than capable of. And you will have earned so much goodwill from me that I feel like has been kind of slowly depleting over time for PlayStation. It, Astrobot will prove to me that it's like, okay, PlayStation still has that little spark, that little spark of personality in there in the form of Team Asobi that I, I feel like they have been slowly losing over the years. The time is now. We're, we're less than 24 hours away. I am going to be counting down the minutes until I can hit play on my PS5 to play Astrobot. But we wouldn't be here without Astro's Playroom because it's a lovely game. It's a very special game to me. And I hope if you haven't played it by now and you're waiting for something to play before playing Astrobot, give it a shot. Play it for the first time. Replay it if you already have. Just soak in the wonder and fun that is Astro's Playroom because it is one hell of an appetizer before we get to the main course tonight.